Hey nerds! Hope you're having a good evening. So before we actually get into any of the content that we want to talk about, oh, it's, oh, there's my bra I didn't even know what my sheet it was out here. Okay, well, anyways, um, I'm gonna summon here a bit more. I have a few more orbs that I earned. So you know what? God damn it, I'm gonna try. I still want to try and get a really good IV stat Amelia. If not, no biggie. I mean, it would be really cool, but I'm not expecting it. I really don't. There's a Gunter instead. A three-star Gunter at that. Disgusting. Um, insert Ike picture of disgusting here. And then try one more time. And if not, no biggie. Alrighty, so... I mean, my luck's gonna run out eventually, right? But I'm gonna be talking to you guys about Armor Emblem, actually, today. And that's another three-star. That's sickening. Disgusting. Insert Ike picture here. Anyways, um... Or Ephraim. Whichever you prefer. Or any of the other countless characters that say disgusting in the series, but yeah, my my appearance rate was not going to be that high anyways. So, I'm going to introduce you to my Armor Emblem team. Granted, they're still being worked on because a lot of them are missing this, but as you can see here, Effie is working towards Fortify, uh, I believe, yeah, Fortify Armored. Um, and there's uh, Zephiel, who has Hone Armored units, and then of course we ha we're going to have Goad from Hector, and then eventually, also, we're going to have Armored March. Now, I'm going to be showing you just a quick overview of everyone in here. There's Effie. Um, also going to work on getting her to her Brave Lance Plus and her Bonfire like she's supposed to. And then also Zephyl. Um, he, he's coming along fairly well. I need to get Death Blow up there and also, you know, Bonfire. Give him a good positioning skill as well. Hector's probably the least downplayed because I don't really use him too much, honestly. Um... Need to get him going because I need to give him bonfire and a few other skills to get going. But my main priority right now is to at least get him to his goad armor so he can at least have that. But here is my Amelia, um, ready and raring to go. Probably uh, the most effective unit right now. And I'm going to be showing you just how much armor march changes things for armor emblem and armored units, as well as probably Guidance and things like that. We'll talk about Guidance in another video because Tana has it. Very interesting ability and something that is basically making her a dropship, but as you can see, here's my Amelia. Pretty interesting, I like to think. I gave her life and death. I'm probably not going to give her Distant Counter unless I can get another Hector that I would be happy with giving up. So, uh, yeah, for those who are asking, I'm probably not going to do it because I feel she does fairly well. I didn't realize this, but I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to do it in the uh, in the training tower, and I'm going to do it on the lower level ones, just because that way I don't use up my stamina that I'm using on um, Tempest Trials. And Tempest Trials, yeah, uh, it's crazy. Um, but anyways, we're going to go into the starting strat up, and I'm going to show you exactly what the craziest thing about this is, okay? So, normally... When you move your armored unit, you only, of course, have a one-way through, you know, nothing too crazy, but... <sighs> this this really scared me at first, and of course, I get one of the worst maps to actually display this on, but still. Um, you can see the little feet icon, that's Armor March, but what I didn't know was that, uh... Yeah. Amelia as a unit herself, she gets it. I thought this was going to be like a hone, you know, where basically, that unit uses it. I don't believe the... <laughs> you know, usually that's just... Kind of how it goes, you use hone, your allies get it, and then, you know, that that's the idea. But, for some strange reason, she gets it as well when she uses it. She When she uses Armor March, she gets it as well. So na naturally, all of Armor Emblem gets to move along with that, which means that now you're going to have units marching up. I mean, just to give you an idea, he can go straight up there. Th there's no problem. He now has the uh, accessibility of an infantry, which is ridiculous. Granted, you do have to stay near Amelia, but still, um, that's a pretty hefty exchange, and when it comes to grouping up like this, this is going to change a lot. Granted, I can't keep all of them up there, but, you know, you get the basic idea, right? I mean, I just move Effie down there. Now all of them get, uh, you know, Armory March, or... March of Armory, or whatever it's called, I forget. Uh, Armor March, that's right. Yes. And then, you know, just move whatever unit I want up there, no problem. That is ridiculous. That is actually weird. And I'm also going to show you another thing, granted this, uh... don't think that healer has any problems, so I can actually show you something. So, 
One interesting thing about this is that it also ignores terrain, at least forest in this regard, meaning that any unit can just basically uh, move through a forest without actually having a problem, which is also pretty terrible. Like, normally, if it was a forest in certain pathways, it, you know, if you're an infantry unit, it would usually cut you off. But with uh, the Armory March thing, um, or Armor March, it just doesn't. You can go wherever you want. Just keep moving. So basically, you have a whole team of bulk heading straight for your face if you happen to have this in any stretch. Yeah, like, any sort of combat, you know, this yes. makes Armor Emblem a lot more accessible in a way. But it does require, of course, having Amelia or, you know, having a unit that you took Armor March with, you know, from Amelia. So, this is a very technical thing, but it's a very impressive idea. And it's a really cool concept that I think would be cool. It's kind of what Armor Emblem, I feel, needed. Add to the fact that, of course, Amelia is balls crazy in a lot of ways. I mean, I'm going to show you this again, my Amelia. Life and Death 3 still has 34 defense. Granted, her resistance is not fantastic, but what really matters is her speed. Um, because, of course, when you <laughs> when it comes to mages, a lot of the time what really kills you as an armor unit is the, you know, the doubling. Having a double ability, or, you, you know, if the mage is fast enough, someone like, say, Hector over here, he barely has 28 speed. And, you know, I think it's like 5... You need to have five over that to actually be able to do it, even with buffs, if any of the mages get it buffed at all, or if any mages actually have anywhere near, you know, 33 and above speed, Hector will take double the damage, which, with his resistance, is, uh, a little bit harsher of a vibe on that, I guess. Um, you know, and even then, certain units, of course, Effie and, uh, Zephiel there, both have Wary Fighter, which makes it, you know, that was kind of why those two typically were pretty beefy in a lot of ways, is because you can't really hurt them too much be unless you get their health down. At that point, then they can be destroyed. Still, though, that's a lot to wear down even with a mage or something like that. If you can, you know, that's the one problem Hector has. He people got mad at me when I said Hector, you know, Hector wasn't going to be as strong as I felt he would be. Um, but, as you can kind of see here, yes. she kind of negates a lot of the uh, issues that really have, uh, that she really ha- that, yeah, God, that you would really have with Hector. Um, you could probably roll with Sheena as well, because she's basically a defensive wall in a lot of ways. And, naturally, because of this, she can just, you know, she can just move everyone else with her. I didn't realize that essentially she has it at all times. She has the ability to attack at all times and move like that at all times. Like, that's ridiculous. All she needs to do is just move up. Bam. She's ha She has it all the time. That's, that's just phenomenal and also kind of terrifying in a way. It means that Armor, <laughs> Armor Emblem is going to have a lot more... Um... I wouldn't say it'd be a lot more valid in the uh, in the meta because I, I don't know if Armor Emblem would actually be incredibly valid, but as you can kind of see, Christ, it's terrifying. That's actually a very scary thing. And of course, this is something I just made in the last few days. I unfortunately had to kill another Hana to give my uh, Amelia there her life and death, but still, 40 speed. 40 speed, and that's not even with Nivean speed. And then, of course... She can move as far as she wants, um, as a normal infantry unit, basically, without any problem. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Um, and the fact that she can bring that over to other allies is even worse. So, if you have an armor emblem team and you really want to try it out, that's just... God, it scares the crap out of me. I don't know, but... I mean, I was testing this out earlier, I thought it was just gonna be a hone, but that, that ability right there... That right there is, good lord, Armor March will probably make even more uh, sense later on. And if you happen to have any more um, Hectors lying around, give her, you know, distant counter. Give Zephyle distant counter. Um, Effie doesn't really need it. She's a decent enough blue. But still, Christ. Christ. This is, this, this makes them 
something else. I just, I don't know. God damn it. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's just me testing a few things out because I wanted to try and see how it would work in a actual solid um, armor emblem team. Mine isn't done just yet, but I did the groundwork, got Zephyl up to not only 40 on silver, but also on gold, um, you know, into three from four to five, got them to 40 in both, and then eventually moved on from there to probably go and get another Zephyl ready to go as well. Um, I'm probably going to make sure that uh, my Zephyl is ready and raring to go for more fun times later on, but uh, that's a lot of stuff to do, so I hope you're all having fun times. I am going to go and make sure that I can... God, I really need to do those. A lot of orbs to do. I need to do August quests, all this other stuff, but... Armor Emblem's terrifying now, guys. Jesus. Anyways, catch you soon!